Hello and welcome back to another Japan Crate video. Today we have the March 2023 crate. And good lord, what a busy crate we have. So in uh, recent months, uh, as you may or may not know, they've kind of upped their game with the art and stuff. The, the cost's gone up a little bit, but each crate has custom art now, which is pretty cool. And today, the theme is, is Japan, as you can see. So we're going to take a quick look and then we'll take a look inside. So of course we've got the um, the icon itself, Mount Fuji in the background. Got a lot of traditional uh, Japanese kind of architecture. We've got the kind of equivalent to the Great Wave of Kanagawa um, by uh, blanking on the name of the artist. Got some Koi of course. And then to more traditional, uh, ancient traditions, which is Godzilla. We've got the RX-78 Gundam, and that is Mazinga Z, I think. I've never watched Mazinga Z, I'm sorry. One day I'll get round to it. I thought that was Geta Robo originally, but he's red, so that's not right. Uh, so, let's take a look. We've got some more water there. We've got their social media. We've got some clouds that are upside down. That is the website, and on the back we have a description. Um, so if you want to read it, I'll pause it here, but yeah, it just kind of says about how cool Japan is and stuff. I'm not going to show you all of it because there's still a shipping label stuck onto it. I've ripped off about three of them, but I, I can't rip off the rest, unfortunately. So I'm going to go slice open this and we'll take a look inside. All right, so as always, I'm not actually going to be showing you guys what's inside. I'm just going to be pulling out the cheat sheet and taking a look. So that is the cover there. Uh, I'm going to take a quick look at the inner page just to see if there is anything interesting. All right, so this one is actually kind of interesting. So it does have the cheat sheet. I'm not going to show you guys what it is. Um, but the kind of intended thing is that you pick the items out in order and read the description. However, that goes um, contra to the way I do it here. So I'm not going to abide by the rules and I'm going to play it my own way. Uh, so, let's I'll grab something a little bit smaller to start with. Ooh, these are koalas. Koala marchi. So these are. Ah, so these are mini koala march. Or like a small pack of koala march. They're kind of biscuity things with chocolate inside. And each biscuit has a cute part koala doing activities. Let me see if I'm missing anything. Okay, the, the, the cheat sheet didn't tell me what it was. It just told me it was koala's march. And then it's like an adventure kind of thing. I'll show you guys at the end. It's it's interesting, um, but not particularly helpful if you don't know what the snack is. Uh, oh, yo, we've got some Ariel. Uh, oh, hello. So this is Chizu. Um, cheddar cheese. There we are. So in my bonus uh, Japan crate, I got, I think it was for the New Year's one, we got a Gundam The Witcher Mercury themed pack. Now I think this is either the same design or different, but this is hands down one of my fa favourite potato chips. I'm not even going to check the cheat sheet for this one. Ariel, cheddar cheese, they are these really crispy, four layered things. They're really cheesy, but they're like, it's hard to describe. They, they feel really nice. They've got a nice texture to them. They've got a lovely flavour. I love me cheddar cheese aerials. They are amazing. And the fact it's a Gundam uh, related thing. Now, I don't recognise this dude or his uh, suit. It looks a little bit like Sazabi, but obviously this is from Witcher uh, Mercury. I haven't watched it yet, but I, I've heard some good things. Um, you know, Mech Yuri is not where I was expecting the series to go, but I am fully on board. Next up, ooh, we've got che cheese in snack. Okay. It... <laughs> This is tiny. I think this may actually just be a piece of cheese. Um, like it is it, l l literally that is. It feels like a small piece of cheese. <laughs> Let me check. This is a camembert and gorgonzola snack. Um, so yeah, it's it's a mix of camembert and gorgonzola, I guess. That's an interesting one. Uh, next up, ooh, ooh, we have a singular Kit Kat. Does this imply that we're not getting a full bag of Kit Kats today? That is fine with me, to be fair. I mean, we get packs of like 10 to 12 every month. I literally have like two, at least two multi-packs I haven't even started yet. 
This is orange and maybe chocolate, I'm going to guess. That is... This is chocorangey. Uh, I, I really like the wordplay there. So yeah, it's chocolate orange. That is very, very nice. I do like me some chocolate orange themed stuff. Let's check that I read this correctly. This isn't in there. Um, I'm guessing this is just like an addition or something thrown in. But I've, I've, I've read through this like three different times now. I've kind of spoiled myself on one or two things. Um, just because I was reading everything. That is weird. I mean, hey, I, I don't, I don't, you know, I, I don't mind some extra snacks. This is foo something. I can't read the rest because it's in uh, kanji. I want to say, isn't this like chocolate and cinnamon or something? I think we had this in the previous crate. But I could be wrong. It's very light. Like, super light. Um, yeah, let's see what this is. This might be Shimichoko stick. Um, it, it, it sort of, it makes the more sense, but um, the packaging is different. But I think that is Shimichoko, which is kind of a, a rice crackery kind of thing, like this. The Shimichoko stick. Okay, that wasn't... We'll keep this till the end, and I'll see if I can work that out. So this is Shimichoko. Um, yeah, okay. So this, yeah, this is definitely Shimichoko, because it's the uh, star thing. It is rainbow flavoured or something. No, wait, no, that was a different snack. I think we had this in a previous um, yeah, in the previous crate, but yeah, shimi choco, uh, shimi con choco, very nice. These are really nice. They're really long versions of those little stars you get. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh! <gasps> Yo, Crunky, let's go. Okay, I love Crunky. Uh, it has been quite a few years since I've had some of this. Uh, these are chocolate balls with kind of little rice bits in them, kind of as you can see there. They're really crunchy and chocolatey. Uh, yo, let's go. Okay, I'm guessing this is regular chocolate flavour. This is crunky chocolate with nuts. Uh, yeah, wow. Okay, that's even cooler then. Crunky is great. Uh, I've not tried any with nuts though, so that's where I was. I thought that was just the rice things as part of it. Yeah, ooh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> um. I don't know what this is. I genuinely don't. Um. Oh, wait. Oh, is this a, um, tattoo? Like a chewing gum? So I can feel a chewing gum there. And then, like, there's a cardboardy kind of thing. Is this a temporary tattoo? Let's check. This is Scary Story Chewing Gum. Um, right. You know what I'm going to do? So, instead of keeping a snack at the end, I'm going to open this up. And if this does have temporary tattoos in, I'm going to attach one to my hand now, so I can do the rest of the video with that on. So I'm going to go open this up. Alright, so let's see what's inside. So if you watch my Japanese snack reviews videos, You'll know that um, I I did something similar. There was like the horror thing for Halloween. I attached that, but then realised I filmed the snacks every few days. So you'd only see it in like one or two videos. C cool. Um, I will have to like Google Translate that or something because uh, I can't. I mean, I can read some of that, but I I don't know. Ja oh, okay, it's not a temporary tattoo. I feel an idiot now, but there you go. I'm going to use Google Lens to translate exactly what this says. Okay, according to my Google Lens, this says, Good sleep after reading. Yay, I'm going to have a good sleep tonight. That's cool, because I'm recording this on a Sunday, and I get the Monday off because it's Easter. Uh, I'm not going to use Google Lens to read this black card, because uh, that would take forever. I might read it off, off video or something, and like tell you guys what it is. But it feels folded over, which is weird on that side. I'll try and work this out later. Oh, wait. <gasps> Hang on. No, I was right. Oh, was I? What's inside? Well, okay. Hang on. There you go. Just in case you thought it wasn't creepy enough, we've got weird marionette children controlled by this glowing-eyed dude. Um, cool. All right, then. I will put that to the side. Uh, and the chewing gum, put it back in the pack later, and let's get back on into delving in. That was, that was interesting. 
that was not something I expected. Oh, uh, Milky. Yes, I've had this before. No, I've had a Milky product before, but this is interesting. This Picora. Picora. Um, Picora Milky. Okay. Um, they look like they're pocky, but they're like fully covered in chocolate or something. So I know Milky are a brand, so I think this is a crossover between whatever Picora are and whatever Milky is. Milky, like, they do chocolate, I want to say, or milk-flavoured stuff. I think chewing gum Milky is what I had months ago from Japan Crate. So let's see what this is. These are Milky Piccola Sticks, uh, and the description does not tell you anything. Um, I will be trying them in the Japanese Snack Reviews episode, though, so stay tuned for that. They're probably kind of like milk-flavoured, chocolate-covered, pocky kind of things, I guess. Ooh, next up, we have Choco Hit Freku. Okay, um, <laughs> Freku. Freaku? Maybe it's Freak? Chocolate Freak? Maybe Choco Hit Freak? Uh, I don't know how to... Oh! Crispy Chocolate. There you go. Well, these are probably Crispy Chocolate Discs then, because I think there's two of them. I'm, I'm really liking the um, the packaging. Very, like, psychedelic and stuff. Oh, wow! Good lord, this is, this is very colourful. Let's see what these are. These are Choco Flakes. So that makes sense, it's Choco Freaku. Uh, I was I was thinking freak because the psychedelic colours like the the you know fr freak out kind of thing of the sixties, uh, but that's an American thing, so that wouldn't have made as much sense. Uh, we have pure de rice. Okay, uh, this is really interesting. I can't read a lot of this because this is a lot of kanji. Um, yeah, I, I'm really digging the pack though. This is very, uh, very fancy. Oh, okay. So they're probably like rice potato chips or something, and probably cheese and tomato and basil or something. Yeah, okay. Let's see what these are. These are anchovy bonito chuto chips. Very interesting. Anchovy. I love anchovies. Um, I haven't had anchovies in years, actually. I know it's a big hit and miss thing. Some people like them, some people hate them. I like them. Which is, which is what I just said, I guess. Oh, oh wait, yeah, 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 okay, yeah. I've definitely, we had these before. It's a marshmallow thing. I can partly tell because it's a marshmallow and he feels like a marshmallow. But also because of that happy dude. Look at that little, little guy. He's so happy. Yeah, this is called like Big Mallow or Giga Mallow or something. Right, actually, Big Mallow. Okay, Big Mallow. That is... Uh, what it translates to. Cool, right, let's let's see. This is a big marshmallow. I don't think any more is is necessary. Uh, right. I I love that the, the happy marshmallow dude. Next up we Oh! Oh! These are the green tea mochi um green tea mochi like snack things we got from the New Year's box as well. Um they're, yeah, they're, so they're green tea flavour, they are mochi, and I believe they're coming up in the next Japanese Snack Reviews episode, which might be up in a few days after this upload. Let's keep an eye out. Uh, there's no need to check that. I literally had the box in front of me about two weeks ago when I filmed it. They're very nice, unless you don't like the taste of green tea. They are very strongly green tea flavoured. Um, which makes a lot of sense. Ooh, I think this is a DIY kit. I believe this is the jelly DIY kit, jellyfish DIY kit, I want to say. Um, I tried this in a few Japanese snack reviews ago. Let me check what the name is. This is the Puyoyon, Puyoyon Jellyfish Aquarium Jelly. Uh, so yeah, you make jellyfish, sort of, there's a few steps to it. You kind of pull things into one mould and then it makes like a little yellow thing in a sort of bubble. And then you put it into another thing, and then you pull it out with the mould. I'm going to be honest, I tried this. Uh, I, it's in the Japanese Snack Reviews episode, if you'd like to see it. It was alright. Um, uh, some of these are very hit and miss. They're very finicky, and unfortunately that one is, like, incredibly finicky. 
and it just didn't turn out that well. It's probably my fault, but ooh. Uh, we have, this is probably a Senbei, isn't it? Oh, this is a cracker. Okay, I think we got one of these with the New Year's box as well. Let me double check. This is the Petty Maeda Cracker. Um, I think, I can't remember if I filmed this. They, they, it's a cracker. Um, it's fine. It's, it, I, I, don't, I didn't dislike it, but it's, it's very much a sort of plain cracker. So, got three items left, I think. So, well, sorry, two items. So, uh, milk, oh, milkshake. Sorry, um, that took me far too long. It's Mirku Seiki, or Shaky, I guess. Uh, that is Se, though. There should be She, Shaky, I don't know. Um, but yeah, this is a milkshake, I'm guessing. Uh, cool. It look, It's weird, though, because that looks like a, a mug of tea, or coffee, or something. I'm going to check out what this is. This is Dido Milkshake, or Dido Milkshake. Um, yet again, it doesn't, it doesn't really tell, tell me what it is. I'm guessing it's a milkshake in a can. Interesting. Uh, I'll definitely be giving that a try on an upcoming Japanese snack reviews. So, we've got two... Wait, hang on. Wait a second. Good heavens. We missed something. Ooh. Uh, um, right, this is very small and very reflective. It's... I, I can't really read... Choco, yeah, chocolate, chocolate, I guess, choco eight, yeah, there's no L, so it's choco eight, what the heck is this, chocolate ball pillow, maybe, is what I'm thinking, um, again, the, the description is the adventure thing, so it doesn't really tell us, cool, okay, um, right, so the last two things is we've got our like raffle ticket thing and what feels like a gachapon ball. So I'm going to pull out the raffle thing first. Ooh, ooh, that was the... Man, my YouTuber uh, instincts really came to it there. Oh, oh, okay. Find three planes to win a flight to Japan. Three VR goggles to win a VR set. Didn't win. Scan the QR code. QR code for a surprise, um, and everyone at home can do that as well, hopefully. I'm going to go uh, get a coin, I guess, to scratch this. I wasn't expecting this. I'll be back. All right, I am back. So, there's three chances to win. There's, uh, if I get three planes, flight to Japan, three VR headsets, I'll get a VR set, and then there's a QR code. So I got one VR, two VR, and a ship. I think, I don't know what that is exactly. Uh, no, I didn't win. Uh, you, you never win the scratch cards. Anyway, uh, however, there is this cool QR code. Now, if you're watching at home, give it a scan. Honestly, I think it's kind of cool. Um, it's nothing, it's not going to blow your mind or whatever, but eh, it's, it's pretty nice. Um, you know, I don't get Japan crates to enter raffles anyway. But what I do enter raffles for is to get um, mystery items. Let me check there's nothing else there. No. Oh, wait, there is. I think. Hang on. I almost didn't... Um... Oh, is this like a charm thing? No, no, I know what this is. It's a chocolate heart. I remember this. This came from... This was in my lucky box as well, I do believe. Inside is a small chocolate heart. And I think this is like a charm or something. Let me see. I thought I saw it here. It's the traditional heart chocolate. Yeah, it's a small chocolate heart. Uh, when I opened it on the uh, the other crate, I thought it was like a small coin or something. I was like, yo, this is really interesting. It wasn't. It was a chocolate heart. I did eat it, though. Right, and the last one is a gachapon. Now, I don't know what it is, so what I'm going to do is the traditional one. Now, if you've watched my stuff for years, um, first of all, I'm really sorry. Uh, I can't give you that time back, unfortunately. But, uh, secondly, I did used to get another crate from the Japan crate people called Gacha Gacha Crate, which is six gachapons every month. Uh, so I'm, I'm, not an, I'm not a newbie to gachapon. We have bags. It's upside down. We have squares. Cool. Okay, I don't know what these are. 
Uh, let's just open them up, I guess. Uh, this is the thing. Ooh, a hole. I got a uh, retro, retro, R, E, and the rest is cool. Oh, wait, is this a, is this a drawstring? I'm just going to open it up. Uh, ah, okay, that was more violent than anticipated. Oh, cool, it's like a drawstring bag. That's actually quite nice. It's, uh, and it's got a nice Hanabi, or, uh, you know, summer festival. Well, it doesn't have to be summer, I guess. It could be any fireworks thing. That's kind of nice, actually. That's, uh, I might keep stuff in here. What stuff will I keep in here? I don't know. Dice or something would be cool, actually. Um, right. I'm going to go clear up now and put everything in a pleasing manner, and we'll do a recap uh, slash conclusion. See you in a minute. All right, so this is the best angle I could get. Uh, I didn't really show you guys, but as you can see, there is a koi carp inside the box as well, which is quite nice. It goes with the design of everything else. And yeah, this has been quite an interesting crit. Um, I will say, and this is this is a bit of a nitpick, the whole thing of the kind of adventure map, it was interesting, and, uh, you know, because we've seen everything now, the whole point was you pick out each uh, snack and there's a little bit of a story. It's kind of a cute idea for sure. The only thing is, uh, <laughs> with the items, I mean, it, it's great and all, but, you know, you're reading it and it's like, oh, what, what is this exactly? And it's like, then the wizard jumps into a taxi and then turns you into a frog. And it's like, yeah, what? Doesn't tell me what my snack tastes like, though. Um, but, you know, I, I appreciate them going for something different. And that was kind of cool. Uh, and, yeah, I, I've got to say, I, I'm i kind of digging the additional stuff they've added. As I said, there is a more of a price hike with it. Not too much more. But for what you get, I do think it is justified. The box is really nice. I mean, it just so happens to have stuff I love from Japan on the front. So, you know, I, I guess maybe I'm a little bit uh, a little bit biased there, but I thought the box this month was really cool. Um, I've also noticed that this isn't the March uh, crate. This is the Lost in Japan crate. So I think that's where I'm going to have to title the video, because it doesn't say anywhere that it's March 2023. Uh, so I'll have to keep that in mind going forward. But yeah, I, I quite like that. The like, scratch card thing is... You know, that is probably part of the thing. And I do like this. So I did look up as well on Google Lens. The the thing was the Retro Summer Festival drawstring bag, I think. I really like this. I will be using it and stuff. Um, and yeah, it, th there's a nice variety. There are a few repeats. I mean, there's like the green tea thing, which we did technically get a few crates ago. I did technically get that aerial as well a few crates ago, but... Um, I, that was in the like lucky crate things. So that wasn't something everybody got. Yeah, overall, very happy with this. Um, hopefully, they do keep up with either the gachapon or the little uh, prize kind of thing. They do seem to be doing that now. That's really cool. And I will be trying a lot of these. As I mentioned, there is an upcoming Japanese snack reviews episode that'll be out in the next few days after this upload. Obviously, none of these will be featured in it because I've already finished filming it. But I do have like three crates to go through still, so stay tuned. There will be a lot of episodes. Um, and I'll be doing other videos as well. This is going up in April, and we are midway through All Aliens April. It's a kind of themed month, right? I haven't done much for but it's themed with aliens. There might be a video coming out soon, hopefully, if I get my shit together. Uh, but as always, thank you guys very much for watching. I will be getting next month's Japan Crate as well, so stay tuned for that. If you want to see the one uh, other videos maybe you've missed, I'll leave a playlist for all the Japan Crates there, and I'll leave YouTube may, uh, decide on a random video, and I'll let you go. So, thank you guys very much for watching, and until next time, good. Bye.